Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Kafan Encrypted and we're back with more workers and resources. Episode 5. So, I spent a little bit of time playing around with some fences, trying to decorate this a little bit, and then I realized if they are not connected, you cannot build them. Well, not in realistic mode. Anyway. So, for now, I'm just gonna leave them there. I don't think I will build them. I will build this connection, this entrance that I chose over here. And then I'll see how I want to play around with this. Just, uh, so it doesn't do its thing, I'll do that. And I'll make the surrounding. Worst case, I can always demolish it. They only cost like 22 tons of prefab, which is nothing. I'm upgrading those roads and I did a little bit of paving over here. We'll see if I'll keep it this way or not. Now for the super important stuff. I'm finalizing the prefab panel factory. It's time to get it up and running. I renamed the storages to construction yard steel, bricks, prefabs, boards, so pretty much each one will store one type of resource. I made the warehouse over here hold 20% electronic components, 50% mechanical, 10 plastic, 10 electronic and 10 explosives. Because we're gonna use some of that stuff here for repairs. Oh, hello, we have the first repair person. Well, we're not ready for you. That's fine, eventually. And the other, you will see all those tunnels going on. Those need power. And I haven't planned for power. And since I'm gonna do all the fences and stuff, I'm like, well, all of those facilities do not require a lot of power. They just need enough for the vehicles to fill themselves and then they are done. So, I pulled cable from this transformer into this five-way switch and I got one underground going here with 1.6 megawatts, another one going over here, which this will have the least consumption, and one more over here to support our repairs. So, our repairs at most will pull 0.06, which is not much. Boards at most will pull 0.45, uh, like those storages. So the main drain will be those ones, but we should be okay. Now we are at the end of uh, 1965 and we still had to get some population going. So our capacity here was really starting to skyrocket with this one. So this one gave us another about 25 more consumption. So what I did is I put another two of those flats, built a road, connected them with a big garbage container with a small big garbage container location made an underground pedestrian pass so i can get them over here to the shopping center because they need food everything else i can deal with food they need and i also utilized one of those heat exchangers that connect with the footpath and i pulled another line from our heating plant over here this one can easily accommodate 1050 cubic meters so we have 300 over there roughly 300 over here with a little bit of an overflow between the two so that's 600 we can get another one going as you can see i started demolishing those so once they are done i will erase the roads i continued the highway and gave this a one-way road upgrading this into asphalt to speed up things a little bit and I'm using this thing in the middle as a little bit of a loop. So if someone wants to cross here and turn around, they won't go around the whole roundabout. In reality, they can go here, around, and here. Will it work? I don't know. We're going to find out. Our factories over here have been ready, but I haven't brought any people here, so we need to do that. We can load this very fast with crops. So what I want to do is um, start making things to export because I really need to get the books in the post. And uh, health is going really well. Happiness is stable at 83%, which is excellent. And lastly, about research, we are still doing chemistry. <laughs> because we don't have any professors. I do not know why the professors are not going here. There is a lot of people, but no professors are dedicating themselves. Worst case scenario, I can just say, hey, all of you go here and work. But I don't know, it's weird. Oh, wait. I just seen that. When did you skyrocket? 
Is that one of them? Woo. Why did those go up? I don't remember setting those up. Hold on, I gotta check a few things. Okay, so you're fine, you're fine. Uh, there is no other education. I don't think you can set it in the kindergarten. Okay, well, that fixes that problem. I'm sure that was on the previous video too, and uh, everyone would be screaming at me in the comments. <laughs> so, anyway, this will push us up to the 3000 population which we want. And that will be the completion of stage one. This needs fuel. And soon we will have fuel over here as well. Now, let's bring people. Um, I'm going to set up a new line. I have a million buses. How many people can I pull away comfortably? Because I'm using a lot for construction now. You're pulling 40. You're going to pull another 40. Yeah. Okay, I have enough of a buffer. So. Let's get our buses. And say... We'll go with higher capacity one, but it's not the time to spend money. You go here, you get 40 people, you go over here, you unload those people, and then you come back here and do the same thing again. So that's one. You tell your friend, you tell your friend, and this friend. And that would be a total of four. We'll need to see the distance. And how long it takes for a full cycle because I want them to have a sort of average lap time of under 600 seconds. That's my goal. Let's speed up a little bit. Um, yes. Another thing I wanted to do, actually, keep running, I want to take those um, things from the construction office, the temporary, and move them over here. Since I've been cleaning this out, it's the perfect time to do this. And those vehicles, while they are sort of supporting this, they can go rest there. They haven't drove in a significant amount of time. You got this out of the way too. Yes, cool. And go here, clear this. Now, the only thing I really need to move is this, but I will need to redo the fuel distribution anyway. Okay, good times. These guys still have no power, but it doesn't matter much. They can refuel whenever. Oh, hello, traffic. Yep, those can go out. Probably because all of them fights a million construction buses. Well, the weather is good, so I'm not worried if they don't make it to the heating plant. Now, speaking of which, so how do I want to let them split themselves? So let's keep this at 30. So keep this at 30. You, you two, you can split however you want. And once one of the storages is full, then I will regulate it. Ah, look, chemistry is done. Cool. I uh, have filters. What do I want to do next? We will do plastics. I actually want to do the gas power plant. Uh, I was talking about doing broadcasting. So broadcasting and radio first, and later the rest. Yes. 1% uh, that will change soon. So we are producing a bunch of alcohol. And we are consuming the crops. Good. Yeah, this is not pushing it in here yet. Because it's an omnidirectional one. So it will need to wait. Yeah. We'll keep some and then it will start pushing. While you're doing that. I do have a bunch of open hulls here, but they are reloading those. So let's see, are there any used ones I can pick up? Give me, give me an interesting open hull. So you are the best one in terms of capacity. 
Plus 4,000 now. How much is a new one? Seven. So you're half, but you have the wear and tear and they cannot repair you. Now we're going to go with a new one. So you can uh, take containers up to 13 tons. You can take containers up to 9.7. When I look at these... So where is one of them? I haven't played much with containers, so it will be interesting figuring this part out. You, friendo. You can carry... And of course, the game tooltips really need to be upgraded at some point. Yeah, so it's a size thing, so you can Mars Ponton. What? Oh, interesting. So those containers, yeah, you don't have the other ones. So you can only pick up the 10s and the 20s. So I think this can carry either two 20s or a 20 and a 10. We're going to find out, but it cannot carry any of the bigger ones. So let's just get one of them as a little bit of a test thing. Because you are slow. Actually, it should only be able to take one ten because its length is twelve. We don't have anything else that have larger length, do we? You are seven, so you can only take the small ones. I think that's how that works. Um, let's make you gold, because you're going to bring us money. And change the workplace. Um, there's only a pla one place I can really take you, but okay. So you, friend. I need to move you. Start heading here, but you will never actually go there. So, I want you to go here. I want you to load containers. Wait until you're loaded, and then you are going to go and unload over here. And you can unload your containers. So this. And I'm actually going to keep you open here, just so I can keep an eye on you. What's happening here? So we're producing alcohol, but people haven't gone here to work yet. They are prioritizing the factories. Can I go here? No. Well, apparently they don't want to go there. Oh, wait. They cannot reach these. Hold on. Why can you not reach both of them? Okay. Oops, that's a little oversight. We can fix that. Um, so that's the easy one. There you go. Then you can go right here. Is the speed of the road more than you? Max walking speed is 87, and this is 95. When the ro gravel road it is... 62. Yeah, so you are faster. So for you... I think I was planning on doing this and I forgot about it. Which is entirely possible. Especially with how many things you need to do in this game. Okay, so cue all of that. Come on guys, let's go fix this quickly. For now, they can produce alcohol. That's better. Yeah, okay, so they can get to all of them. Look at all of them running here. We're gonna be full of alcohol very, very soon, which is exciting. And I wanna see how much you can store in one container. Because normally, if we use the cover hull, sell alcohol, this would sell about four and a half tons. It's. You're here and waiting. Fine. It's 
so not all of them are running to bring crops. So if we had to look at consumption, they are only utilizing three to four of them, but only one factory is running, which is a very decent ratio. I'm happy with that. Okay, I'll give it some time until this is built, and I'll be back. Oh, and we are making our first container, I think. Yes. Copy times. There it is. And you are going to sell it, or not? No, because you don't think you are full. So, quick adjustment to your thing. Go shell. I'll double check when the when he is back if they can do a second one, but so selling a single container is three thousand. And this is double the amount that we could carry of alcohol. So effectively we're selling ten tons of alcohol at a time. Which is pretty good. that to start bringing some uh, money slow because it has to travel in the other side of the world but at least it's driving as fast as it can and that will be a problem over here i need to stop buying alcohol so let's fix that so i will tell these dudes here which i still haven't um limited in what they do so you're fitting this with alcohol. I'm going to remove that for now. Completely. It's going to take them a while to use it up anyway. Otherwise I'm selling and buying back the higher price, which is kind of silly. Hi, bulldozer. Where are you going? You're going home? Okay. <laughs> uh, those are not being demolished anymore. Is your range too small? Yes. So extend the range. I'm gonna steal those ones that we use to load fertilizer. I need them here to move those things faster. Yep, so you go do you. Uh, it will probably help to throw a couple excavators here so they can automate some of that stuff do I have any more stuff I want to move and I can put more buses but I don't need them currently and I'm not using explosives so I don't need the covered boat okay those are still buying there is only one bad thing about those big houses when they get to the last stage of their construction, they don't have a mechanism slot, which is kind of interesting. Okay, this is progressing stuff. Yep, and food is 9.8, so pretty much the same capacity for either. So alcohol sells for 3,000. Each one of food will sell for 1.4. Right? You got the alcohol, you left the food back. Yeah. Okay. So obviously we're not producing them tremendously fast yet, because we don't have enough people. But we're producing it at a pretty decent rate. And they are packing them at a decent rate as well, with 30 people. Okay. And we're back. Some time has passed, specifically more like a year has passed. So, population keeps growing. We are up to 3,600 people almost. We have 83 that require their own flat. I'm making them their own sort of flats now. So they're moving here and I'm making a couple more. I incorporated yet another pedestrian underpass trying to give these people access to all of our services over here. We did start exporting 
some food, some alcohol, and utilizing that for our own people. I put a little warehouse over here. So every time we need something, our people will go pick it up from our industry, bring it here and store it locally. And this other little distribution office will go pick it up from there, take it to our shopping center, so they don't have to go travel all the way up there just to do that. Because as you can imagine, that can be very slow and very problematic. The border situation is pretty good, pretty empty. We did have some broken down vehicles, like our container export here. It just finished fixing itself, or it's now going to fix itself. So, hi guys, please fix it. Thank you. I needed to make me money. So, I brought some people here just to accommodate that. So, that's all done. I stopped importing pretty much everything at the moment in terms of construction materials. We have our own prefabs. Unfortunately, they are not worth selling. The only thing that we will need to buy for now when we build something is steel and bricks. And we'll talk about both of those in a little while. Also, we are very slowly finishing this up so we can start getting a little bit of our own fuel. But we really need to push our economy now. Because the exports of about 40,000 at best, maybe 42, is not enough. Well, here it looks green. If we look at our actual economy and trade. For us to break even in a month, we need another 62,000 worth of income. Because of all the loans. Our loan situation is quite fun. We're almost up to 3 million loans. And we cannot consolidate. We cannot do anything like that. We need a lot more money. How are we going to fix that up, you ask? Well, it's time for the next industry. And one that we can uh, hopefully pay for. And the industry in question will be clothes. And the reason for that is we have our crops over here. Or at least we move them over here. We're utilizing them fairly quick. I'll have to decrease some of the people here. And what did I do? I tr I'm uh, playing around with something different. I'm playing around with forklifts. For a little bit of fun. So here we're going to have our fabric production. And let's look at the building. So fabric production requires food. Chemicals, water, actually let me pause the game. Crops, chemicals, water, and power to produce five tons of fabric. Most of our um, forklifts can carry about 1.4 tons each. And each one of those garas for forklifts can have four of them. So a full garas can literally take everything from here that is produced in a day and distribute it around. Which is plenty. Now, when we look at the clothing factory, all it needs is fabric and people. And it uses 2.4 tons of fabric, so two forklifts worth, to make it into one forklift worth. Which is not that much. And they have their own internal storage, so we're gonna utilize that as a buffer. So the idea is, forklift goes, pick up the clothes, sends them here and here to distribute them. These guys will produce their cloth, and then another four forklifts will pick those up, take them down here to the warehouse, push them through to the containers so we can utilize them, and of course sell them. The other thing I found is, I was wondering how, how much can uh, an open hull carry, and it's a weight situation. So, by itself a dry container is 2 tons, and it can hold 9.8 tons, so a total of almost 12 tons. That's why our uh, open hulls can only carry one container. Let's look a little bit underground here. What's the plan? So I connected this suet stang over here to a switch, which will continue and go all the way to where we dump it into the water. The fabric industry requires its own connection because it creates a crazy amount of waste. And there will be Another one, another connection over here for this suet stang, which will be the suet for the workers. So this one is industrial, this one is for the workers. I piggyback off the little switch over here, the water switch, to give them some water, because this requires its own water source. So I gave it a direct water source, and again, same principle, 
we are giving them some water through a water substation. And that will accommodate all the people. Now, a uh, big... St and now here we have the big waste container for all the waste this will produce. And here we have a smaller one for the fabrics. On this side, I built an underground tunnel which will pass under all those forklift paths and get the people where we need them over here on the clothing factory. So if we see anyone going on this bus can access any of our buildings and provide the workers we need, which is what we want. Now to construct all of this monstrosity, ah, sorry, one more thing for power, we pulled off from our little power transformer over here. Now to construct this monstrosity we need gravel, which we produce so it will cost us nothing. We need boards, which we produce ourselves, workers, which we have, concrete, we produce ourselves, prefab panels, we produce ourselves. Still, we don't produce ourselves, but we have a little bit of a stockpile, about 90 tons, roughly. A fraction of electronic components, which we will just buy, it's okay, it's not that expensive. Asphalt, we produce ourselves. The only thing we still buy is bitumen, and for this amount of 83 tons, that won't really cost much. The only thing we will really need to buy some is bricks. But that shouldn't be a problem. This should cost us maybe 40,000 to finish building from rubles, give or take, plus the fuel we will need to fill those up. Speaking of fuel, I put a little gas station over here. I don't want to give those their own line for fuel. It's not that they don't hold that much, but it's too many connections. If we look at my fuel distro, I have 19 connections already covering all of the city and i'm not in a place yet to make another one of those but for now everything they're gonna do is they're just gonna go here bring fuel for anyone who passes through here 50 percent, and that will help with any buses that go through this way and stuff like that so that's the plan let's commit to the plan let's begin construction two more things that are important is coverage for police and coverage for fire so if we look at our fire station the yellow line is where the road, like the road vehicles will stop. I'm pretty sure they can go a little bit farther the way this is, but we need to give them a different path. Because now for them to go out, they need to drive down the city, into the highway and up. So let's give them a direct highway. Or I shouldn't say a highway, just a direct route out of here. So let's give them something like this something like this i don't want to give them another branch here if they're going out i just want them to go up and turn around over here do you update the calculation no not until you're built okay and for our police station same principle this little road here will give them an, an alternative path where they can go out and go up we can always improvise that and customize it with signs but we won't work we won't worry about that just yet and on the topic of research we finished all the research for the small headquarters that we wanted for now so everything i'm doing at the moment is just why do you do this why are you doing this again go back down for now the only thing i'm doing over here is educating people and technical university finished researching pollution so what do we have next? So we can go for an introduction to metallurgy, so we can play more with pipeline, pressure, connections to western countries and stuff like that for fuel, to export it more effectively. We could go for durable flats for better housing, which I don't really need just yet. Pollution filter installation looks promising, another 15% less population. I did install a few pollution detectors, I'll show you those in a moment. They actually upgraded the way they work, and I find them interesting. We have chemicals, so eventually we will need to go down that path, but not yet. I'm not worried about bauxite or any of those for now. Waste separation is definitely something I want to incorporate, but I will probably work on that after we have our refinery and we're working on our second city. Fertilizer, we'll have to wait for them. 
so yeah the way this looks is we will need to do television at some point and then go up to this stuff but that's okay yeah so i suppose the plan for this pollution filter installation and then once that's done we will start going deep into metallurgy our population split at the moment between educated, well, lower education and higher education is 55% to 45%, which is pretty decent. And we only have 8 prisoners, which I'm very happy about. And since I was talking about the pollution monitors, they actually gave them a bit of a threshold now, so they can actually give you notifications. You can say that the maximum pollution that they will accept is 98%, so if they go above this, notify me. And if they go above this average pollution level, notify me. Now, we do have a little bit of pollution down here when we make asphalt and stuff like that, but not enough to cause problems to our citizens. Their health is relatively okay. So I'm not too concerned about that. I did install a couple more of them near our industry, so if we look up here. So now that those do not really work full time, it says the average pollution is 7, but as you can see, closer to the factories, it's significantly higher. Since winter is coming up, I'm going to make a small adjustment. I'm going to set my vehicles to repair of over 50%. As you can see, I still have a few that are on the 60% range. Because around 70 or 65 plus, the chance of them breaking down increases. And I really don't want them breaking down during winter. Things can be really bad if your coal supply runs down on winter or if your buses run down on winter pretty much you're gonna have a lot of unhappy people since we're getting a little bit of a bottleneck on our roundabouts we're gonna make a couple changes we're gonna go here and say give way to whoever is already in the roundabout same with this same with this same with this and here just so we can encourage flow pretty much continuously going no no traffic lights not yet at least and that should help I think we have one more here yes and that should help clean up some of our small buildups and something random looking at the prefab building I was wondering how, how can someone get up in this office I suppose and then there is this huge ladder going all the way up no matter how much you would pay me, I'm not climbing up that thing. One more little detail. The connection from the warehouse to the fabric factory. I'm going to make it one way, only go in. I am not storing any fabrics in my warehouse. I don't want any of those fabrics. If I need some fabrics to pull away for repairs and stuff like that, I'll take them directly from the fabric factory. And now that our little side door road is ready, our fire... Our city fire station coverage has extended everywhere where I need it. Let's quickly check our police coverage. Should be the same. Yep, everything is perfect. Actually, it's not. We have a little bit of a dead zone on the top left, but nothing a good asphalt road cannot fix. And before we wrap up this episode, I want to plop down a radio station and a statistics center. So, radio station. I really like this spot for it. I kind of think this is like the perfect spot to put it. I need to give it some water as well, but that's okay. So let's say somewhere here. Actually, let me mirror you around so I can have the road in a better position. So let's say here. Obviously, I'm not going to build it straight away. 400 tons of steel will be painful. But let me stop that. And I want to make sure I have it in place for when I'm ready for it. I will give you your little waste collection right here. Probably plop a, a monument next to it, we will see. And for the statistics center, which is right here, or city hall as the game calls it. So I can very, very comfortably squeeze you here. And I think I might actually. I change the road this way. Yeah, so if I place you here... Ah, come on, game. Yeah, so if I give you a nice diagonal... Something like... Whoop, 
something like that should be ideal. Let me give you a little footpath. So you can continue this way. You can continue this way. I'm going to make this into a curve. You will bridge with this. And this will continue over here to give a pathway for the station. Yep, that should be adequate. And you need water. I'm pretty sure you had sewers. So I will give you a nice water substation. Mirror. Let's place you right about here. And let's have a quick look on our underwater layer, underground water layer. I can very easily grab a connection from here to here, which is exactly what we're going to do. Perfect. Okay. This is progressing nicely. You will see the money went up a bit because I took another loan. And the main reason for that is I had to buy steel to build things. I'm going to stop this. Uh, you are you're not that expensive. They can build that. Make that a low priority. And this should be ready for the next episode for us to plan and get into action. Thanks everyone for watching. Don't forget to drop a like, comment, subscribe, you know, all those fun things. And on the next episode, we will make sure we continue with stage two and talk a lot more about what's to come.